So when it comes to fundraising, preparation really is the key to success. At this point, you've probably got an idea and you've worked out that you need some cash. So you want to make something interesting happen and you need money for that project. What are the first things that you're going to think about, need to think about really, before you start? Firstly, I'd say it's thinking about the way that you're communicating your idea. So you want to really work out what is your project, what is it all about, what makes it exciting or makes it different, and why it's important to you, why it's you who's making this project and nobody else. You also want to think about what you want to achieve by doing this and start to work out who your project benefits and who's going to be interested in it. Those people are your stakeholders and we're going to talk about that in another video. When you're communicating your idea, you want to try first of all explaining the idea to somebody else. Think about how clear it is when you talk about this and work out what they're excited by. What are the things that they're missing when you're talking through your idea? The important points that maybe aren't coming across? And how can you improve your explanation? As you're going through this process as well, you can write some notes as you're going along. They're going to be really useful to you for working things out. I'm going to give you a quick example of somebody working through their ideas. So this is Marcella. Marcella has an idea that she wants to make happen. She's worked out that it's going to cost her something to do it, but she's still in that kind of development phase. Her idea uh, came to her when she saw two older people holding hands in the streets. Now Marcella lives in England, but she's from Italy, and in Italy this isn't so common. That got her thinking about love and thinking about what it means to be in love and how people talk about that and communicate that with each other. She started off thinking that the project would probably be to do with making portraits, so making portraits of couples maybe, uh, holding hands and talking to them about that, that thing, that feeling of being in love. And the more that she talked about her project and worked out those ideas, she realised that she was also interested in getting younger people to interview older people about that whole topic, so about love, to have these conversations. She thought that also maybe the older people could interview the younger people. And there might be a kind of sharing of ideas and sharing of advice. So as she started to talk about the project and explain it to other people, it also started to develop. When you're communicating your project idea, write down the key points of your idea or your project. Write them down in bullet points. Think about what the aims are and the reasons for doing it. So what's the project actually going to achieve? What's it going to make happen? Also then, what are the outcomes and what form could your project take? So the outcomes of something like Marcella's project might be a collection of photographs, they might be published online, or they might become like an exhibition or something that people can interact with in a physical space. Once you've worked out how to talk about your idea, then you want to work out what you're going to need. So this is a process of working out everything and working out exactly what you need to make your project happen. So what are all the things that you're going to need to do and who's going to do each thing? This might be stuff like equipment, it might be access to venues, it might be a whole range of different tasks that are involved in making your project a reality. While you're kind of brainstorming these out, I also want you to write an activity plan. So an activity plan is going to help you work out all of those different tasks, so what needs to get done, when they're going to happen, the start and end dates, and who's going to do them. Is it going to be you or somebody else working on the project? While you're working out what you need in this way, you're also going to need to work out what everything costs. When you're writing the budget, you also want to work out how long your project is going to take, how many people it's going to involve, 
and how people are going to get paid for their time. So when you're working out your budget, working out what you're going to spend, your expenditure, make a list of all the things you're going to need to buy or hire or pay for and notes about how you've calculated that or how you found out those prices. You also need to work out how much those things are going to cost. And if you don't know offhand, just search online, have a look and see who's selling that thing, whether it's a product or a service, and then that'll give you a good way to estimate what those costs will be. So now you've really started to work out how much you need and what you need to make your project happen. You've started to communicate your idea, you've written an initial budget, and you've started to work out an activity plan and when things will happen and how. At this stage, you now need to work out the best way of raising those funds for the project, and that's what we'll look at in the next video.